To perform a deluxe manicure, you'll need these extra items. First of all, you'll need salt and glycerin, which you mix together with a spatula, and this is for the exfoliating scrub. If you're doing warm oil, you need almond oil, enough to cover the first joint of the fingers and thumbs in a smaller bowl, and then a water bath of hot water around to warm up the almond oil. If you're using paraffin wax, you need the paraffin wax heater, which slowly melts down the paraffin wax, and then the paraffin wax is applied with this brush, wrapped in cling film, and then the heat is retained by wearing toweling mitts. A hand mask of vitamin E, or you could use the almond oil, is going to be used with the heated mitts. These are plugged in and the mask used to accentuate the effects of the mask. To exfoliate the hands, use an exfoliating scrub and the one that we make is with glycerin and salt. You need to be careful that the client hasn't got any cuts, obviously the salt will irritate. So then you apply the salt and glycerin, little circular movements, a bit more for this gentleman's hand, little spatula, apply gently and then use little friction movements especially to any areas of hard skin. So the exfoliating process will help with the removal of dead skin cells, it will improve the skin texture, remove any of the skin uh, improve this, the blood circulation, increase the lymphatic circulation and we'll have a general improvement of the skin's colour. Turn the hand over. Sometimes you get areas of hard skin just around here. The skin will just feel lovely and smooth afterwards. Most little friction movements. As I say, remember to be aware if there's any cuts or any bruises that you need to go over lightly. Check for any contraindications always. Also whilst you're doing the treatment, check for any contraactions, any adverse actions that you don't want to happen, any allergic reactions. Check with the client that they are comfortable and happy. So when you've given them a thorough good massage with the exfoliating product, then you just need to get a nice warm bowl of water. Place the hand in there please sir, thank you. And then we'll rinse all that off. And this can be done prior to any mask that you're using. So you want to make sure that all of that salt has got rid of. That's it. And we just take that out. There we go. Put one to the side. And we dry that towel. You can also use a hot steam towel just to get rid of any excess exfoliant on the skin and now that will be ready to have the mask. Warm oil treatment is excellent for somebody who has maybe dry overgrown cuticles. Just relax your hand down now please, thank you. And we can replace soaking in the finger bowl to soaking the uh, fingers into the actual warm oil. You can just keep still because you're letting the water get into the oil there. Do get some funny clients around here. There we are. So the warm oil treatment involves gently heating a small amount of oil, for example almond oil, soaking the cuticles in it for about 10 minutes. Oh. It nourishes the nail plates, softens the cuticles and the surrounding skin. It's an excellent treatment for clients with dry, cracked cuticles. Warm oil may also be applied to the skin of the hand and the forearm to improve the texture, colour and blood circulation in the area. Very good for nail biters as well. So you could soak that before the cuticle work, you could do it as a relaxing at the end of the treatment. Paraffin wax treatment. This is excellent for any clients that suffer with rheumatism or arthritis. Um, before you apply the actual wax, we're going to make sure that we use a nice moisturising vitamin E cream on the skin underneath the wax. This will help with the removal of the wax and also it will be giving some extra nourishment and moisturising the skin. So we just place that on the skin first. Make sure that your towel is covered with some couch roll and that also you have some cling film underneath ready to wrap the hand once you've applied the paraffin wax and this will help to retain the heat. The wax normally stays on for about 10 minutes. Before you apply the wax from the wax heater, make sure that you test the temperature on yourself first. It's normally around 49 to 55 degrees. 
Test it on your wrist because that's a very sensitive part. Once you're happy, then you test it very carefully on the back of the client's hand. Does that feel okay? It's fine. Don't sure. Feel it. Great. Jolly good. And then you bring your wax quite close to where the client is, making sure that you're not going to drop any anywhere. And you start to apply the wax liberally to the hand, and especially covering the joints if the client has any arthritis. Continue with the paraffin wax until you've made a nice mask all over the hand. Cover the nails as well and the underside. Then simply wrap the hand up in the cling film. Make sure you protect the client's clothing. And then pop it inside. There we go, inside there. Toweling mask. Little mitt there. And then leave that for about 10 minutes whilst you're doing the other one. The paraffin wax, the heating effect stimulates the blood and lymph circulation. It eases discomfort of arthritis and rheumatic conditions. It softens the skin, improving the appearance and the conditions of the hands and dry skin. And it soothes the sensory nerve endings. Be careful not to get any on any towels or clothing because it will block any pipes or any uh, washing machines. So it's very important first to work safely, checking the wires on the paraffin wax heater also checking the temperature and making sure that there's no spillages to work very carefully with the hot wax. To clean the paraffin wax brush, make sure that you let it dry and then with um, some couch roll over a rubbish bin so it doesn't go all over the floor, just gently little circles and the paraffin wax will come off. Do not wash this under the sink because then the paraffin wax will solidify in the pipes and it will block the sink. So very carefully, we'll just round and round until your wax um, brush is nice and dry.